WCVB News Center 5 at 11 starts right now. One day, three tornadoes, the spin ups across Massachusetts. And a look at the impact those tornadoes left behind. Tropical downpour is still impacting part of the area when it will come to an end and the big change that will follow. Full approval granted. What it means for the Pfizer vaccine and what doctors hope it means for vaccination rates. And a deadly mystery in Shirley. A man found dead in his home. Now investigators trying to figure out how it happened. Right now at 11 as we come on the air, another drenching for Massachusetts tropical downpours from Henri giving us a soaking tonight. That same system sparking three tornadoes in the state today. There's a path of damage in Marlboro, Stowe and Bolton. And tonight we're learning of a water spout too. Good evening, everyone. I'm Shana Seymour in for Maria and I'm at Harding. We're in for more heat once the storm passes. Harvey Leonard is here right now. OK, Harvey, when does the storm pass? Uh, well, it'll only be a few hours from now, but Henri's parting shot is very, very, very strong in terms of heavy rainfall. A lot of the rain bands I'm going to show you now are producing greater than one inch per hour rainfall. It is, however, moving. There is an eastward translation to it. There's also thunder and lightning with some of these. Wareham to Falmouth. By the way, we do get reports of the usual areas around Fall River flooding uh, during the heavy rain that's been going on the last couple of hours. But further north to Wareham and Taunton to cross to Plymouth, Marshfield getting into it, Brockton up to Weymouth. It's been pouring buckets in Boston as well with thunder and lightning. And now it's on the North Shore, Peabody, Boxford, Lowell, Rockport getting it to southern New Hampshire as well. But I want you to notice once you get beyond 495, there's not much at all. So here is the storm, the remnants. It is moving to the east and that will continue to cause the rain to move east. So a couple hours from now, the heaviest will be offshore. Could be a little mist by around four or five in the morning and clouds to start for the morning commute. But by afternoon, the sun's out and it starts to heat up. So here is Boston. Notice the rainfall through about 5 a.m. Then cloudy, then breaking clouds, and then up over 80 by 1 in the afternoon. So that gives you an idea of what's coming. But oh boy, what happened today doesn't happen every day around here. Right, Mike? What an unusual day. I mean, three tornadoes and a water spout, and it all came from a really isolated area. You see, earlier today, this is the radar from this morning, you can see all that heavy rain that was out to the west. But look what was happening right along 495, these little cells right through there. But these are the ones that created the spin-up that we had going on. Of course, that first one kind of lifting its way through the Marlboro area, and you can see what happened. We had a tornado touchdown, was on the ground for a while, three quarters of a mile. About 10 yards wide, it was an EF0, the lowest onto the scale. But not to be outdone, we went a little farther to the north a little bit later on. And what happened here? Another small tornado in Bolton. This was a real quick touchdown, moved on through. And just along 117, off to the east a little bit farther, Stowe picking up another EF1, EF0 tornado, by the way. And then this. At, at Sunset Lake in Ashburnham, we had a water spot. It's a tornado over water, but it never went outside the boundary of the lake, and so it goes down technically as a water spot. What an incredible day we had today. Ed. Oh, truly, Wonk, absolutely. We have been getting a lot of video like this from viewers today. You can see the tornado taking shape over Marlboro. Our Nathalie Pozo was in Marlboro tonight live with a look at the damage. Nathalie? Ed, well, all three of these tornadoes were weak and they were all the remnants of Henri, but there was no serious damage. They were small and brief, but people here telling us that wind kicked in quickly. Video shows swirling clouds and dark skies in Bolton, Marlboro and Stowe. We could just see the clouds moving and swirling. Marlboro had the longest patch about three quarters of a mile. The tornado started just west of 495 near the John J. Carroll water treatment plant and dissipating just north of Cedar Hill Street, where the winds up to 65 miles per hour did knock this tree onto two cars in the parking lot there. And in Stowe, a tree coming down on Great Road and some other downed trees near the police department. Over in Bolton, the damage limited to a few trees and branches on Whitcomb Road and Main Street. I never thought I'd see such intense, uh, rapid rotating motion in a funnel cloud in Massachusetts. Meteorologist and storm spotter Jim Kurtzow spotting a funnel cloud in Acton minutes after taking this video and called the National Weather Service. I actually called the Weather Service during that video and said there wasn't much rotation. Um, and I called them back about five or six minutes later and said, hold on, 
There's a lot more going on here than we thought. The NWS thanking Kurt So on Twitter, saying it helped prompt them on the tornado warning. It got kind of crazy for a while. Very strong wind and very, you know, heavy rain. So again, no serious damage and no reports of injuries tonight. We're live in Marlboro. Nathalie Pozo, WCVB News Center 5. Nathalie, thank you. Do be the first to know when severe weather is heading to your area. Just head to the WCVB app and then turn on the alerts.